Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Next Play Records. I'm Andy, and I have a Vinyl Finds video for you today. Uh, some really, really good ones to show. And uh, I'll probably do another one pretty soon because I'll be going to my first record store day uh, as a vinyl rookie tomorrow with my brother, bright and early. Got a few uh, titles that I really, really want to get, and uh, I'll show you all those on the next video. But let's get started on this one. First one I have is a nice cheap record but very fun is get the knack by the knack and uh obviously the biggest song on here is my sharona but there's some other really good ones on here as well um but it's just one of those classic records and classic sounds from the late 70s i think it's a 79 actually pressing but very fun got this one from my brother's little setup at his hardware store so happy to have that one my next one uh, reminds me of high school. This is Bush, 16 Stone. Um, just some songs that I grew up listening to when, it, when I wasn't listening to country music, but um, Everything's In, Come Down, Machine Head, Glycerine. Those are some of the biggest ones, but this is a uh, 20th anniversary remastered on clear vinyl, and it sounds awesome. So Bush, 16 Stone is added to my collection. Next one I have is a MoFi pressing of Bill Evans and Jim Hall's Undercurrent. This record's unbelievable. Just beautiful. Every single song shows their talent off. Uh, very technical playing and just, uh, you know, probably one of the best piano guitar albums ever made right here. And I love the cover. Let's get a good look at it. MoFi always does a good job on their pressings. And this one is, you know, it rivals the sound of Tone Poets and things like that, but good liner notes, good picture of Bill and Jim right there. So I was happy to add, this is the first MoFi that I have in my collection. And another Bill Evans, who's one of my favorite jazz pianists. Next one I have is a Tone Poet that came out early in the series, and I just, it took me forever to really find it for a good deal. It's It's been selling a little, it seems to be a little more rare than most of them, but you've got Tina Brooks, Minor Move, and I mean, the lineup on this is one of the best. You know, you got uh, Lee Morgan, Art Blakey, Sonny Clark, Doug Watkins, jamming. There's your Tone Poet in her photos. So, I mean, I think this was kind of overlooked, this Tina Brooks minor move, but it's really good. And he's got another Tone Poet coming out, um, The Waiting Game. I think it's coming out later in November. I've got that one pre-ordered. I'm excited about that. I'm a big fan of Tina Brooks. Now I have uh, one of very few original Blue Notes that I have. Go ahead and take it out of the outer sleeve here. This is, if, you, if you're on my Instagram page, you've seen me show this off uh, over the last couple of days but this is freddie roach mo greens please love this record it's very organ heavy but kind of has that country blues jazzy sound to it so um the combination of roach and kenny burrell on this is is one of a kind you don't see a whole lot of those two together um I can't think off the top of my head another organ-led record that Kenny Burrell was on either. So Freddie Roach, Kenny Burrell, Eddie Wright also on the guitar, and Clarence Johnston on the drums. Um, this is a fun record, a lot of upbeat, a few ballads, but a lot of upbeat organ, soul, bluesy sounding tunes on here. But this is an original stereo um, on the New York label. In really good condition for as old as it is. This is a 1963 release, a very early 63. So I was happy to add another original Blue Note into my Blue Note heavy <laughs> record collection. Uh, the next one I have is just a 75 pressing of Bobby Hutcherson's Happenings. But I really love this record. You know, Bobby Hutcherson has a, a fairly good amount of Blue Note releases, but they're all coming out. Um, 
as reissues other than this one here recently you got um oblique that is coming out the next week i believe but uh i love this one because it's got herbie hancock on it joe chambers on it and this cover is pretty cool i love how they use those different hues to light up the black and white photos from back then but um just a woman sitting there in the middle of the cover surrounded by the pink just very appealing to the eyes the whole artwork of it but this is bobby hutcherson's happenings and the last one i have the one i've been most excited to show and most excited to listen to um is a reissue of tom petty wildflowers and this one's with all the rest this is the three lp set and it is great quality sounding great artwork the story goes that tom petty uh wanted to release a double cd when wildflowers first came out um but the record label talked him out of it and he agreed to let it be a one cd because he always wanted everything to be affordable for the fans he felt like a double lp might be a little too too much for some people and he wanted it to be very accessible but in the back of his mind i think he always had it planned to release all the songs that he did for wildflowers and then all the other rest of the songs that didn't make it as well and this makes up three unbelievable records and uh when i heard this was coming out i was excited to get it but i, I almost passed on it at first as a pre-order until my brother said you sure you don't want it because those might those might go out of stock quick and so I jumped on it when he ordered his. I ordered mine. Um, but unbelievable record, as most people know. Tom Petty's a very talented singer-songwriter. Um, I love the ones that have the harmonica playing on it by him. And this one has a couple on the Wildflowers, but about three on all the rest as well. So um, this is right up my alley. Every song is very good, and, and it's just good to have this now that Tom Petty's not with us anymore. But uh, that was... That was one that I was real excited about adding to my collection. But um, that's all I have today. There's a couple of record store items, record store day items that I want to get tomorrow. One being the the Squirrel by Dexter Gordon that's coming out. It was only out on CD from Blue Note, I think in 97. And it's never been pressed on vinyl. And uh, it's a live recording that has, um, I believe, Herbie Hancock on the piano maybe not i might be wrong there but it's a i've listened to it on c uh, on streaming it through the cd and it's really really good i want to get that and i also want to get the uh jj johnson that's coming out it's a uh, called stone bone and it is it's never been pressed in the united states on vinyl it's only in japan it's pretty rare and i think that japan pressing is worth 500 to a thousand dollars but it's really good music too trombone led by jj and uh, Herbie Hancock is definitely on that one. Um, I think I'm wrong on the Dexter Gordon, but um, either way, great musicians on both of those. I'm gonna make sure I get those and probably get the Booker T, um, Macklemore Avenue 50th anniversary release uh, from Analog Tapes. Those are the three I'm gonna most likely get. Wish me luck and uh, thanks for tuning in. And until next time, keep spinning that next play.